Welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to talk about an introduction to Mohs scale of mineral hardness. Frederick Mohs was a German mineralogist who developed Mohs scale of mineral hardness. Mohs scale of hardness is utilized within the scientific fields of geology and mineralogy. Mohs scale of hardness was readily accepted by everyone in the scientific community because with the exception of diamond, the minerals within it are all relatively common and easy or expensive to obtain. This scale is used to determine a mineral's hardness or resistance to scratching and to identify unknown samples by comparing their hardness with known samples. On Mohs scale of hardness, the hardness increases with each number. Number one, talc, is the softest mineral. And number 10, the diamond, is the hardest mineral. Hardness differences between numbers are not equal. In the scale, each mineral can scratch the previous one and is scratched by the one following. Minerals are tested by scratching the unknown with test samples and by the objects in that last column. So if you look at Mohs scale of hardness, We've already reiterated that number one on Mohs hardness scale is talc. It can be scratched by a fingernail. Number two on Mohs scale of hardness is gypsum. It can also be scratched by a fingernail. Number three is calcite. It can be scratched by a copper coin or a brass pin. Number four is fluorite. It can be scratched by glass. Number five is apatite. It can be scratched by glass and it scratches a steel nail. Number six is feldspar. Another name for feldspar is orthoclase. It can be scratched by a steel file. It scratches glass. Number seven is quartz. Quartz scratches glass. Number eight is topaz. Topaz also scratches glass. Number nine is corundum. Corundum scratches glass. And number 10, like we mentioned earlier, is the diamond. A diamond scratches all common materials. As helpful as the Mohs scale of hardness is in identifying a mineral, there's a wide variety of other properties that we could look at in identifying a mineral. When identifying a mineral, Mohs scale of hardness is definitely useful. There are other mineral properties that can help you identify the mineral as well. Those include size, shape, color, texture, the patterns, and location, in addition to cleavage and streak. Let's take a moment to review what we've learned today. Frederick Mose invented a scale of hardness to help him identify minerals more quickly and efficiently. The Mohs scale of hardness is based on the ability of one sample of mineral to scratch another visibly. This helps geologists even today. Thanks so much for watching. We would love to connect with you. You can connect with us by checking out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. You can follow us on Instagram. You can like us on Facebook. And you can check out our Pinterest page. If you like this video, we've got a ton of videos over at our YouTube channel, Bowtie Guy and Wife. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com. See